Okay, the first I'm going to show you first how to repeat the same action in Adobe Illustrator. And then later on, I'm going to talk you through the process of um, like duplicating uh, something around or a circle around the circle. All right. Uh, a circle around the circle. Okay. First, I'm just going to create a very simple very simple shape and now I will right click on this shape right click and now go to transform and I will click on move and here I will actually copy this and delete this minus and here I'll type here zero sorry just um, so anyway, now you just click on copy, uh, you click there, copy right uh, here. You click here, uh, move, and then here you click on copy. And now if you want to repeat the same action, you just click on control D. And now you have, as you can see, a lot of copies, but <clears throat> Now, if you would like this to move down to this direction, so not up, not up, but down, what you have to do is actually to here move instead of minus is actually plus here. All right, and now don't click on yeah on the uh, on uh, okay click on a copy and now you just um, you can also manually is actually have to click on here transform again but instead of doing that because it will just it, there's too many steps I mean there's one step two step and then instead of doing that you can click on here control plus D and if you click on control plus D now as you can see, you are duplicating. And now we have all the uh, shapes here, as you can see, which is great. So this can save you time. And yeah, I really hope you learned something now. The next, um, the next thing I'm going to show you, which I hope you're going to learn something and it's going to save you time, is actually with this one. You have a circle here. And then I have here a nice little circle. And now, make sure you're also here in view. You enable smart guides or use the shortcut control plus O. Um, and now, what you can do here is to select the circle that you were the circle or the the shape that you like to duplicate and then you click on here you click on rotate and then once you have uh, selected the shape and you clicked on rotate you just press hold alt and you select this um that the, the shape that you like to duplicate the shape around this big shape okay <laughs> that's the worst explanation <laughs> So yeah, now guys, just click on copy and just copy it. Next one, and you hold. Now you click on the keyboard control plus D, and it will just duplicate around this shape. Um, all right. But you see the center here is this is not the center. <laughs> this is actually the wrong center. And of course, this is not really a problem. We just have to make sure is we have the center right in the middle so we're gonna try again we're gonna select it click on rotate click on alt and here i'm gonna type 45 or whatever and uh, as you can see again it's not in the middle but uh, we can correct this we can correct this no worries just make sure you select this the center all right and now you click on 
copy and then copy 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 now of course if you want right in the middle just click on here click in the center and then here type a different uh, different value make sure is around 8 preview so if you like this we don't like this actually it's 34 and preview we don't like this 25 i don't exactly the exact angle uh 580 preview now it's good so now just it's almost good but now anyways you can see that is around and actually i want this to be perfect so i'm gonna do it again and i'm gonna select this press hold and select this in the middle and now should you have this rotating around by the way which is nice but we want to select the shape and select rotate alt right in the middle and now let's try again so it's about 18 preview mm, no this is not the right but so i don't make this video too long um what you have to do basically is just to select the shape click on rotate select the shape click on rotate and then click on alt select the other shape click on preview enter 15 preview not 50 maybe about 10 15 no about five absolutely not <laughs> all right just make sure you type the right rotation because i'm creating this video is too long um but that that's the that's the essence you just have to select it click on rotate and then you have this in the middle and this actually should be about 20 i think so you have the right number now it's close click on and just click on control plus d i'm sorry this video is too long but yeah yes and now you can actually select all of them select all the shapes and click on group group all of them or you can uncheck this you can ungroup and then uh, you can move them you can also click on view here and show to grid and this can be helpful if you want to do incremental moving moving this incrementally or i don't know if that's a word but uh, snap to grid also enable that's important Okay, now you can move this closer you can select all of them now so let me move this here and group and then you can work with this align window and here enable align so yeah i really hope you found this video helpful i'm sorry that video is too long but i really hope that i achieved my goal which is actually you being happy that you learn something or then goal is that you learn something so thank you guys for watching and i hope you found this story helpful and i'll see you in the next video also if you have any suggestions for the next adobe share tutorial let me know in the comment section